the Thompson Family Christmas Concert, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Christmas. Isaac as the Grinch, Arden as the narrator, and Edmund as Cindy Doo Hoo. Every who down in Whoville. And they're hanging their stockers. You snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow, crush. They're here. Then he growled. With his grinch fingers nervously drumming. I must find a way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow he knew. All the girls, all the who girls and boys, would wake bright and early. They'd rush for their toys. And then, Oh, the noise, oh, the noise, 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 noise. And that one thing he hated. The noise, noise, noise. <laughs> then the who's young and old would sit down to feast. And they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, 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 feast. They would feast on who's pudding and rare who loves to eat. Which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. Next, they'd do something he'd like to survive. Every do, every new down and new down, they'd come to the Christmas bell grinch. They'd stand here and there, and the hoops would start again. And they'd sing, 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 and they'd sing
All the hoos were dreaming, sweet dreaming, without care. When he came to the first little house on the square, there's a stop number one, the old greasy crawling hat. And he climbed to the roof, and for daddy he was fed. Then he slid down the chimney, I'd rather take a pet. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. Not stop only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace tree, with a little who stocking hung in a row. The do stop it, he grinned. I first thing to go. Then he slithered and slumped with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room and took every present. Pop guns and bikes, cold skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn, and plums. And stuffed in bed. And the old Grinch cards very nimbly stuffed all the beds up by one up the chimney. Then he slunk to the ice box. He took the who feet and took the who pudding. He took the roast beef. He cleaned out the icebox as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinchy Claus even took the last hand of who pack. Then he stuffed all the, all the food up the chimney with glue. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. And the Grinch grabbed the tree. And he started to show. Then he heard a small sound, like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast, and he saw a small hoo, Cindy Lou, but not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this kindly daughter, who got out of bed for a cup of cold water. He stared at the Grinch and said, Daddy Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why, my sweet little cock? The Grinch Claus hissed. There's a light on this tree, but the light on one side. So I'm taking it back to my workshop, my dear. The trap there, and I'll bring it back here. And it's fair, easy child. Then he patted her head, and she got her drink, and sent her to bed. And Cindy Lou Who went to bed with her cup. He went to the chimney and stuck the tree up. Then the last thing he took was a log for the fire. Then he went up the chimney and dealt that old liar. On their walls he left nothing but hooks and some wires. And the one speck of food that he left in the house. The crumb that was too small for easy to come out. Then he did the same with the other who houses. The mean one, <coughs> Mr. Grinch. You really are a healer. He's cuddling as the cat is yours, charming as a meal, Mr. Grinch. My banana with the greasy back peel. Best 
subscribe button to follow. And I quote, Think, 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 think sunk, sunk. Mr. Grinch, think of simple thoughts. Your heart is a dead tomato, locked with moldy purple spots, Mr. Grinch. Then the who's done and who will all cry boo hoo! That's a sh that's a shout, Grin the Grinch, that I should bring much to heed. So he paused. The Grinch put his hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, and it started slow. But the sound was a sound. Why the sound? Need a little bit more. 
Where did it come from? I thought. Maybe a Christmas. Perhaps. We need a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he wiggled with his load through the bright morning light. He brought back the toast go, and the food and the feast. Woo! The heat himself caused the roast.